Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empus. No matter how effective your business's cybersecurity plan is, incidents can still happen. That's why I want to talk to you today about the importance of having an incident response plan in place. The actions you take before and after an incident or breach can mean the difference between a minor disruption and a complete disaster. One of the most common frameworks for incident response comes from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. NIST cites four phases that every incident response plan should consist of. Phase one of your incident response plan should be preparation. The goal of this phase is to identify what your system's largest vulnerabilities are so you can prepare for the most likely security events. For each possible threat, make sure you establish a communication plan that highlights who should be contacted as well as how and when they should be contacted. Phase two of your plan is detection and analysis. A security incident has been identified, so you need to gather every possible piece of information and begin analyzing it. Identifying the entry point of the incident can make the next steps significantly easier. Phase three is containment, eradication, and recovery. In other words, this is the point in your plan where you stop the bleeding, remove the threat, and get your systems operational as quickly as possible. The final phase is post-incident activity. This phase is often skipped, but is crucial in preventing future incidents. Evaluate the incident with humility to identify areas for improvement. Document these improvements for future reference. Depending on your industry, you may also need to adhere to certain regulations in regards to reporting the incident. Make sure you're aware of any reporting obligations before an incident occurs. Developing a proper incident response plan can be a lot of hard work, so don't feel like you need to handle it alone. Establishing an incident response team can allow you to respond to incidents more quickly and effectively. Security, IT, and business stakeholders should all be represented, represented if you decide to build out a team. Lastly, make sure you test and validate your incident response plan. I recommend you do this at least twice a year or when major changes occur in your environment. If you don't have the internal expertise to establish an incident response plan, don't hesitate to reach out to me or other professionals you may know. Your timely response to an incident is crucial. Thank you.